Painter, sculptor, and printmaker Chris Momquist shares his experiences as an artist working in Lake Country and comments on his own work as well as the artistic community's growth. A participant in Art Walk and the Cars Landing Art Tours, Chris has seen the Lake Country art community grow to its present vibrancy and he offers insights into the directions in which he would like to see the community grow further. Making his home his gallery, Chris refuses to compromise his artistic vision and sense of experimentation and continues working to challenge himself in new genres, mediums and subject matter. Really, as far as when I started doing anything creative was when we moved up here. I uh, started building furniture, and I did that for a couple of years. So I was designing and building the furniture. And from there, uh, sitting on the beach, looking after kids down at the Okanagan Center, I started doing uh, wood sculpting. So I did, uh, did a number of pieces, like my son still has a dragon that I carved for him, so. That was kind of the start, and then I started uh, doing pen and ink drawings, and it just went from there, and then I ended up getting somebody that was interested in promoting me, so. That's how I got started, really. There really wasn't an arts community here. Uh, back in, you know, like 74, like I said, so we've been here for 40 years. And uh, so th this was probably one of the first paintings I ever did. This was when we were still living down on the coast, actually, 73, we moved up here 74. But again, this was, you know, like anybody starting out, you know, you're trying and, you know, you, wasn't I wasn't comfortable painting a sky or anything because up to this time all I had been doing was really drawing, not painting or anything. So, so this is jumping in sort of with both feet and see. Okay, let's see where we go from here. If you're looking uh, like the paintings upstairs, like the, the the one of the lock and the one of the wagon wheel and that. When I started doing paintings, that was I did a lot of sort of Western motif, lots of detailed old wood and that sort of thing. I was expressing myself in what I created in the wood and that, so it was just an offshoot from drawing and, and painting and that. So, And working with the wood got me into the sculpting a bit, and I, I actually didn't do much stone sculpting until uh, the 80s and that was because I was doing a trade show in Vancouver and uh, I was sharing a space with a native artist from uh, Princeton, Opie Oppenheimer, and a glass artist from Vancouver Island and uh, Opie did a demo on working with soapstone. So he took a piece of soapstone, had a handsaw there, cut a couple of pieces off, worked with a file, and here's a little goose. And I figured, hell, I can do that. So that's, that's how I got started with the, the stone. It's a challenge. It's a challenge. See if you can capture the reflections in the metal or it, like with the, the glass, anything like that, to see if you can create that illusion of it looking real. And I think I do a pretty decent job with it. Like even on the, uh, I like doing things like if you look at the bumper on the car that's upstairs, and you can see on the left-hand side, the reflection in the bumper, there's a car there that it looks like, kind of funny. And what people don't realize, it's because the curvature of it, so you've got it, and then it's upside down on top. So it all flows together. And then people see the people standing and that are reflected in the chrome bumper, and things like that.
1987, I got a call from a gallery that I dealt with in Vancouver that Prince Philip had bought a piece. So, so okay, I guess you could call that a landmark. <laughs> I don't do commissions, if th that's what you're asking. I do requests, and if the request interests me, then I'll do it, and uh, whoever is interested, they get first refusal. That way I have a connection to the piece. Nobody is telling me what to do. But it's keeping control of things, not having somebody saying, well, you know, I want this, I want that. Well, I'm not interested in that. I want to do what I want to do. If it works for you, great. Yeah. It's always nice to experiment. I'll try different things. It's, it comes down to just playing around with things. If it works, great. If it doesn't, well, okay, so it's a zinc plate that's no good. And I've done, I've done uh, I, things that I've played around with also. I did a uh, uh, couple of paintings of ketchup bottles. And the first one I did was like the old master, so it was a griselle. So I had, I had the underpainting, and then I started building the colors slowly. Uh, uh, as you would on a painting like that because it's very translucent paint that you're using on it. And it was titled, Where's the Fries? So about a year and a half later, we went in and got some fish and chips and whatnot, and I set up another still life, and it's called Here's the Fries. But that one was done with airbrush work and that, so it's uh, two totally different ways of doing the painting. I like realism.